Hey, cute stuff. Hey, welcome to another message here with me, Duchess. All right, boo. So we're going to find out the nitty gritty as we always do. And remember what? I'm going to remind you every time. This is a general collective reading. Yes. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind for whoever the message is for, baby. Okay. Next thing, this reading is timeless. So whenever you run into it, there definitely should be some messages in here for you. And most importantly, I need to see you, okay, at my three-day slumber party retreat, baby. We are in a resort home, okay? You get your nice comfy bed, drinks and food included for the whole weekend, all right? We having a dance party. We manifesting. We meditating. You get one-on-one -on -one time with me. We doing readings. We doing crystal healing. It is going to be a hell of a good time, and that's the perfect way for you to treat yourself, baby. Why? Because you deserve it. Now, let's see what the message is honey okay we got a three of wands okay so there's something here in your long-term plans that is going to be coming into fruition okay i heard that there's something here that you're planning for the long term that's going to come into fruition so right now if you're trying to decide if you're trying to figure out if i invest my time and energy here if i go in this direction is this going to pay off is this going to work in my favor? And I'm getting a clear answer here that yes, it will. Okay. So there's great opportunity upon you, but it's up to you here to really just take that step and dive right into that opportunity here and know you're deserving this for it. Yes. Look at that. This opportunity brings so much stability. So this could be financial stability here. This could be familial stability, creating that legacy here. But whatever this is, as you set forth for it, you are on track for your long-term stability, okay? Your long-term happiness. So right now, it's all about stepping into opportunities that create that stability. I love this totem pole here, okay? Because it's like my totem of stability, okay? And so there's this element here of this deep level of contentment and happiness as you allow yourself to go towards these long-term plans and these long-term goals, right? And because they're long-term, what I'm hearing is there's no need to rush the process or to over focus over force micromanage right this is the time here to go towards those opportunities but in a way that's very trusty in a way that's very deserving in a way that you know that you're going to receive so there's nothing to panic or worry about we got here a page of cups i feel like for a lot of you this opportunity could be a creative endeavor okay um, it could involve some sense of communication. It, it could involve you here to be very open hearted. It could involve you being very um, vulnerable. Right. So there's times here where this opportunity can seem very scary. You could be very anxious here about it. You could be worried. Am I doing the right thing? Should I invest my time here? Should I invest my resources? Should I invest my energy here? And the answer is yes, because the fears that you have are what? It's unfounded, okay? That's what a nine of swords is about. It's about fears and anxiousness and worries and, and depressions and overthinking, right? So there's this element here of that stability being there for you. But, excuse me, you have to refocus your energy here. So that you are thinking in a way that's creative that gets you to that, right? So say I'm a, I'm making up a random a random example, okay? Say you planned on, okay, I'm going to start this investment portfolio here for my long term, but then you get scared. Oh, well, you know, what if this happens? What if something crashes? What if the person is greedy like on American Greed and try to rob me? Or what if this or what if that, right? But there's a level of not letting your fears take you out of context here. OK, because your long term goals are more important than any fear that you could have. Yes. OK, so going towards these goals are going to lead you in a place to where you're very celebrated. You're in a celebratory energy. OK, you're going to feel very joyful. You're going to feel like things are on track here. And I love this energy along with this Ten of Pentacles because it shows, again, there's this sense of unity or community as well. So I don't feel like this opportunity is one that leaves you feeling lonely right or it's not maybe just for you maybe it's for you and for your family or for your legacy okay so we got a page of wands and the page of cups so i feel like this is something here that may be in the beginning stages or in the young stages okay or you may be starting going in a new direction here and so you're being told that it's about trying different things not necessarily um worrying about things being perfect the first time yeah, but 
as long as you move forward, there's going to be justice. Things are going to work out in your favor. Okay. So that's where this fear doesn't need to be had. It doesn't even need to exist because justice is going to be served. You are going to have your stability. You are going to have your happiness, your reason to celebrate. Right. And it's just like continuing here with the idea, continuing with the process, moving forward. So I feel like this is really about you you know, moving forward on your long-term plans and goals, not holding back, okay? Tell us more here. Tell us more. We got a six of wands. Look at that. Six of wands represents success, recognition, adoration, attention, a triumph, okay? So there's this level here of you really working towards a very successful venture in whichever way that works for you. And it's like, why would you not want the success? And I heard it clear. Of course I want it. I want it, right? But sometimes this fear gets in the way. So if you feel yourself holding back from your success, what's what Spirit is saying is here is that's coming from a place of fear, okay? If you feel yourself holding back from your opportunities, that comes from a place of fear. If you feel yourself holding back here from your investments, your long-term goals, your future, that comes from a place of fear, okay? So, However, each person handles this could be differently, but what's most important here is it's time to get going, okay? The three of wands is about moving forward. It's, it's, it's about planning, but also taking actions. We don't want to get stuck in the planning stages, okay? We don't want to be planning for 20 years. No, we're taking action. Yes, look, page of wands again, another deck, okay? So right now, and I love that down here, it says finish what you start. Look, yes, okay? So it's all about moving forward on your ideas, okay? It's about moving forward on your ideas because these are going to create abundance in your life. It's going to create growth, stability, fool. But you have to trust wholeheartedly. You have to be willing to jump into this hole, okay? Not knowing where the hole's going to lead, how deep it is, any of that. I know it can be scary taking a risk, being adventurous, you know, doing stuff that everybody would think is just completely insane, but it's like, no, I'm not insane. I'm focused on building my future here. It, it may feel risky. It may feel risky, but you're meant to take that risk. Yes. So, you're going to be having some epiphanies here and some awareness of how this really is going to work out for you. It's like you're going to start to see clearly. There's going to be a fog that clears that takes away this fear, right? And you're going to see clearly how taking these steps forward leads you to the justice, how it leads you to the six of wands, the balance, how it ultimately leads you to what you want, that three of wands, that long-term goal. But it also seems like you're going to take some time to reflect first. What is this judgment about? What is this reflection here? Okay, it looks like this may have to do here with finances for a lot of you or just creating that stability, but you're really reflecting on your own worth, your own value, your own ability here to bring forth your deservingness. It's like no longer holding back, no longer waiting, no longer guessing, no longer thinking about it, or like I said, being caught in the constant planning stages, okay? Some of us got a business plan. We keep making new business plans, but ain't really, you know, put out the products to sell, okay? We need to get going, honey. It's not about keep planning. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Um, look at this. The star. So this goes perfectly with that six of wands. That star is all about hope and inspiration. It's about manifesting and having your dreams come true. Overcoming difficulties, challenges, blockages here on your journey. So there's a lot of hope and inspiration that's coming into your life. But also there's just this need here for you to stay very grounded, for you to stay in your deservingness so that you're grasping opportunities, right? And not really instead of running away from them based off of fear. We don't want to sleep on opportunities, okay? We want to grasp them. And so there's so much to grasp. It's like, I'm hearing your hand better be wide open. Yes, look, and the world wanted to pop right out as I do that. Your hand better be wide open, honey, okay? Because there's going to be a lot to grasp. And I feel like there's going to be this element of you feeling like you need to put your crown on, okay? At the end of this journey, you're going to feel very successful here. What is going on here at the end of this journey? Look at this, magician. So you're not just feeling successful, you're feeling powerful. And that's important here. 
Because the magician here knows how to use their resources. The magician is highly intelligent. The magician knows how to make things happen. And so the magician I hear is a master manifester, baby. So this is you as you step into this transition. As you allow yourself to focus on these future goals and aspirations, you turn into this magician and then you just love yourself more and more and you keep getting gooder and gooder, right? You keep getting better and better at your uh, whatever you're putting your energy and time and efforts into yes and so everything is going to be a lot more peaceful so once you step into this it's like your life comes more into balance more stable so it may seem scary and rocky up front especially changing say you change your careers completely that may seem scary right but it ends up paying off big time okay you start some new investments it may be scary it's paying off big time OK, you are maybe buying a new house on your home. It may be scary, but what it's paying off big time. And so that's the main thing you need to know here is that your long term goals are going to be paying off big time for you. But you do have to move forward, put the energy and effort and not get stuck in your head because getting stuck in your head does nothing good for anybody. OK, not you, your legacy, your stability, none of that, your coin, your bank account, none of it it okay please join me for the three day tarot slumber party retreat it's going to be amazing you don't want to miss it go ahead and check out my website for all kinds of other goodies get a reading for $1.99 and you can also you know leave some donations that's always greatly appreciated stars likes shares comments all of the support is greatly appreciated i'll be talking to you later boo bye